Trail running has a fundamental running shoe problem. It's almost impossible to find a shoe that can do it all. But what if there's a shoe that defies expectation and offers the ultimate solution? Ha! <laughs> You're right. No path is the same and no running shoe is the same. Some are comfortable, some are fast, and some get you anywhere. Now, if we look at that Saucony lineup of trail shoes, which is magnificent, you have the Endorphin Edge, which is fast. It can handle some technical terrain, but it really works best when it's a little bit flatter and you can go all out. Then you have the Exodus Ultra 2, which is highly comfortable, such a comfortable upper, such a good shoe for longer runs. But when it gets to technical terrain, it's sort of not the best thing. And then you go over to the Peregrine 13, which is a fantastic trail running shoe, my personal favorite for technical terrain. But it sort of doesn't work for the longer runs in the way that the others do. And in comes the Saucony Rift. The Endorphin Rift is marketed as that fast and light trail shoe, but it's like a superhero that mirrors other shoes' ability, even though it has its faults, and we'll get to that. It's surprisingly good at almost all aspects of trail running. Now, it has borrowed that super foam, the Power on PB from the Endorphin Edge, and the Speed Roll, making it fit into the Endorphin family. This makes it the lightest shoe in the Saucony trail lineup, and a super fast shoe. And it doesn't stop there. This has also borrowed some of the comfort from the Exodus Ultra 2 in that really nice, soft, but still a little bit firmer midsole compared to the Endorphin Edge. It's just a really comfortable running shoe if you run on a little bit of a harder surface as well. And I think you're starting to get my point. The shoe also has stolen a little bit from the Peregrine lineup, making it kind of a technical trail shoe as well. It has that higher stack height, but that foam isn't the softest in the world. That makes it also a little bit like you feel like you have a little bit of ground feel. Nothing compared to the Peregrine, but it still handles the technical terrain. It's the closest thing that Saucony has to a do-it-all trail shoe. Now, it sounds like this shoe can bring out unicorns and rainbows, but it isn't all positives. For some people who are sensitive around the ankle, this shoe might be sitting a little bit too firm on your feet. The sock-like upper is kind of amazing, keeping debris out, but it's really tight around the ankle. And especially here in the Achilles, you might feel it touching a little bit. So if you're a little bit sensitive around your Achilles, be a little bit aware, you probably need to run in this shoe a little bit more to get it adapted to your foot. And even though this shoe fits me true to size, it's on the smaller side. So if you're between sizes, maybe go half a size up then you get a little bit more space in front of your toes. The last drawback <laughs> is the ridiculous one. It's this thing right here. It's, uh, for once, you can actually grab it, which you can't on all Saucony shoes. The problem is that it doesn't really work with pulling your heel out. It just works with holding. If you want the fastest shoe, at least the most bouncy shoe, then do the Endorphin Edge. If you want the most comfortable shoe, then maybe choose the Exodus Ultra 2. The most technical terrain shoe is the Peregrine and the Peregrine ST if it's muddy. But if you want to run fast one day, technical the next day, longer the third day, and something completely different the fourth, then the Endorphin Rift is the ultimate choice from Saucony. Even though it's marketed as the faster shoe, it's not a one-trick pony. It's more of an all-rounder unicorn that is solving a little bit of the trail running shoe problem.